Hi guys and welcome, and welcome to this 100 power level, or 110 in the case of Will, power level game uh, for our campaign of Escalating Warfare. This is Gene Steeler Cult with a hell of a lot of guard tanks versus Orcs. Hi guys, thanks for joining us. Will's not currently here at the moment, but he will be in a moment. Um, we are currently playing on an 8 foot by 4 foot board, and this is part of our ongoing campaign series called Escalating Warfare. You can have a look at the, uh, the actual campaign over at uh, rootstem.co.uk. Uh, it's in the bunker section, so you just go onto the menu, click the bunker, and then of course you can just go to campaigns and PDFs from there. We've got 100 power level versus 110 because of what's happened in the campaign. So I'm down a little bit due to losing the last game. And we've got a couple of crusade forces in there as well. If you join rootstem.co.uk, you can actually get access to these crusade forces just by going on, um, you know, like ongoing crusade forces. And it'll tell you which campaign it's part of, what skills they've got, any detriments that they've got, etc, etc. I'm currently using a couple of those units in this game. I'm sure Will will be when he gets here. But just quickly, uh, we're actually using Firestorm. It's actually a mission that's in the rulebook. I think it's page 353. Or close enough, I'll put the correct one on the bottom. And uh, sorry for wobbling about. And this is the battlefield that we're going to be playing on. We've got some unique brocades, I believe that's how you say it. These are from the World War II players, but we're going to be using them for trees simply because it'll just make it easier in the game if we're putting a tank here rather than having it full of actual tanks. So that's kind of like doing the outline of what the trees will be, and we'll let the tanks roll through the trees without any detriment. Well, with the minus two as usual, of course. But I've tried to keep it all nice. We've got some infantry. I haven't got a lot, but I've got some infantry in there as well to try and take it on. And of course, having a really long battlefield is quite interesting. We're actually playing at my local war games club, Bands Association of War Gamers. And when Will gets here, we'll take you into some forces. So Will is now here, he's currently getting his force out. Yay! Oh. <laughs> but while he's getting his force out, let's have a look at my force here. So this is two detachments. This is a patrol of Gene Steeler Cult. And this is a spearhead of uh, Brood Brothers in Astra Militarum. And in this particular mission, we are stating that you can take the spearhead for free. You've got to take a spearhead and you can have another detachment as well with your warlord in so we're not wasting any command points on basically having a lot a lot of figures the idea is to have a bit of a tank battle here or some heavy supports and if you read firestorm we're going to have a lot of rules where we're going to be suffering mortal wounds while trying to get across the field so to the patrol we have the warlord himself we have the big lad himself uh, that's part of my campaign all of his stats should be on either on the screen or maybe i should just tell you sorry yes it's claw spawn the hunter uh he is going to be my hq he's going to have the relic of amulet of the void worm and shadow stalker so he's going to be quite hard to bring down with range weapons that is the idea at least let's get him in combat we've got the bladed claw we've got the gene stealers um they are a 20 man unit they've also got effectively a six up feel no pain due to the campaign rules that we're currently playing and then we've got two units Red team and blue team. Now, right, so this is red team. They are grizzled, which is a six up feel no pain, but they've also got shell shock due to previous casualties, which means they've got minus one leadership, minus one to attrition test, so they're prone to running. And this is green team. This unit currently doesn't have any benefits, but it does have two heavy rock saws. Um, in the other detachment, we've got two uh, veteran squads. So one sergeant with a plasma pistol, uh, sorry, bolt pistol, power sword, Two Malta guns and a plasma gun, and then three plasma guns in the other. I'm running uh, Brood Brothers. Can't run anything else. So, forget the different colours. We've got a Chimera, a Chimera with a Heavy Bolter and Multi Laser. Apologies, it's not fully painted. We've got another one with a Multi Laser and Heavy Flamer. And we've got a Luminous Command Tank, kitted out, as you can see, with the Plasma Array of Death, plus the Heavy Bolter. And we've got three Luminous Battle Tanks. Pretty much standard gear. They've all got battle cannons, last cannons in the actual hull. This one has heavy bolters. This one has multi melters. This one has plasma cannons. And then we've got one here. We've got Stagey Destroyer Tank Hunter. Let's see what damage this can do. 
Um, it's quite devastating. It is quite a devastating unit. So we will see. Uh, and that's it. That's going to be on a eight foot by four foot board. I know it's going to be a big board, but the idea is to let the vehicles run amok, especially when I see Will's army. And this is today's Orc Force by Will. Yay! Right then, sir, what are you running? Right, we're running uh, a cannon wagon. Yep. Oh, from Forge World. A uh, bone breaker. Yep. A gun wagon. Yep. The burner bomber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, who is uh, one of the captains. Yeah, yeah. We've got uh, a set of, um, come on, name of them. Shock Junk Dragsters. That's the one. We've got, we're running uh, copters, death copters. Yep. Running... Uh, Have you done them for Japanese? Yes. <laughs> just just for giggles, <laughs> you know. Uh, I thought it was a good idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Rippers Mega Gits, as seen in previous... Yeah, it's seen in previous campaign. games. They've got a plus one to their advance and a plus one to their charge rolls, haven't they? Is it plus one, is it plus one to movement? Uh, plus one to all. Movement, charge, and advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so pretty nippy. Quite, quite nippy little buggers. Yeah. They just replace pistons and put a bit of oil in. That's, That's it. Done. That's it. Um, we've got his big mech at the back, which has just very, been very nicely, nicely painted. painted. Yeah, there yeah. Uh, by Luke Yeah. We've got making another appearance. Yeah. There's knob with banner. Has he got a claw? Did you say? Yes. His stats. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we've got. Group of bikers again. Are they, just, are they knobs or are they just standard knobs on more bikes? All yeah, yeah. the claws. Yeah, yeah. And he's got his Zag Decker himself. Yeah, he's the, the boss. Now he's, he's got, got an injury and he's got a skill, hasn't he? He has, yes. Um, so minus one to move, advance, and charge yeah. is his battle scar, but then he gets plus one to attack if charge or charge. Yeah. Yep, so effectively we've got the same thing as Space Marines, but he's a little bit slower because he's got some damage suspension. That's it. Nah, he's got an battles. nail in his tire and he can't be asked for That's it. That's what it is. He just keeps blowing it up, doesn't he? You know, <laughs> Mid-battle. Uh, two units of boys here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Uh, both of them have... Well, one of them has a skill, should I say. And that's the... Slugger um, Choppers. Slugger Choppers. They're battle-tested. Yep. Can't remember what that does. <laughs> well... We'll, we'll find, we'll out, find out, out in the game. And then we've got his group of shooters there. Yep. And and a, little, a little set of grocks there, just for his fodder. Just for fodder, just to fill up with. Because it's 110 power rating, he's running, same as me, a patrol and a spearhead. And neither of those are costing us any points because his war boss is in the patrol. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Right then. Let's get set up. Let's get to fighting. So as you know, the deployment is a 12 inch up. We have tank, tank, tanks, command tank, standard Lumen Russes, plasma, standard. We've got the destroyer tank hunter down here. This is on my side, by the way. We've got both Chimeras with veteran squads in. We've got another Lumen Russ with the multi melters down here on its own as well. And the all the Gene Steeler Colt models are in reserve. Now, oh, oh. Oakside, well, he's putting, he's putting his flyer down. <laughs> Yep, right. Oxide looks incredibly thicker and denser. We've got the, uh, the dragsters, we've got the mech with the shock attack, the huge cannon, flyers on the middle of the board there. Pretty much everyone can see him though, so hopefully I can destroy him before it does any damage. Probably not. Um, we've got kill cannon, battle gun wagon. It's a gun wagon with a good one. boomer. Um, what's that wagon? That's a bone breaker. Bone breaker, there we go. So bone breaker, gun wagon, cannon wagon, I think that's called, isn't it? And someone's alarm's going that's off. Right. Knob units here with the boss who's limping along with his busted tire. And of course, we've got some boys and mechs. Uh, the mega knobs are in there with the wag banner. And we've got the slugger boys are in this. And the choppers are in the sky waiting to come down and do some choppy chop. Well, that's the intention at least. Right then, sir, uh, I'll let you go and make a cup of tea. Right, so we're going to roll to see who's going to go first. Go on then, sir. Well, it's you, and it has to be you because of the new rules. So, you are first, sir. So we're going to go into Orcs. Turn one.
So Will's units are moving forward. This thing has walked across the battlefield. These guys have hurtled themselves up in front of various tanks. I'm thinking he's hoping he can try and pin them down. He's just lumbered forward to try and get as much shots as he can. So is that thing really, it's pretty much stood still. This thing's walked forward as well and the bomber has gone woo, over the top of everyone to try and either drop bombs or do something at least. And the shock attack gun has gone to try and target, I'm guessing target some of the, this chimera because that's the only one I can see. So, <laughs> Right, so you're shooting first, sir. What are you going to start with? Well, I've got to start with the flying. It'll be because, uh, that's oh. passed over the top. So you're going to drop, drop some bombs. Down. So burn the bomb has dropped. Done nothing. Shock attack gun though now is going to fire into the Chimera. It's D6 shots. That's a bull for five, but he needs sixes to hit. One six, one hit, another shot. Backer. Two, two hits with the shock attack gun. I have no idea what this does. We've got to all the strength because we never used one of these before. It's a brand new one. So the strength is five. I'm, I'm guessing you can use a command point to re-roll that if you wanted to. Uh, not yet. Not yet. All right, so strength is five. You're going to need two hits, needing fives to wound in, sir. One hit's wounded. I can't stop it. I can't stop it. It's minus five and D6 damage for three. So that's down to seven. Shock drunk drabs, or whatever it's called. It's firing at the Liminus with the multi-melters now. Um, it's the... Rifle needs freeze. Yep. Which is an assault two and the rocket's assault one, I think. Ah yes, the rocket's assault one. Now because he's jumped, he's counted as assaulting, so it is gonna be minus one to hit. So it's yeah. gonna need fours. Rockets on the red. Yep. So one six. So we roll again. So he gets one hit. And a mortal wound on yourself. And, oh yeah, a mortal wound on yourself, yeah, I forgot about that. So it's down to seven. Yes, it is, yep. Yeah. Uh, strength eight, so you're going to need force to wound, sir. No. No, bounces. Oh, he's got to come and point that. Wounds. It wounds. I got a save. Number six. No. Causes D6 damage. Oh, oh, oh. I need a six. Three. Three is, Three is the number at the minute. It is. Right, so his big unit here with the custom gubbin kill cannon thingy is firing everything at the luminous battle tank uh, with the mortars, but he's got a lob rod there as well, which has just fired at the Chimera and bounced off its armour. So, because it's... Is it 2d6 shots with your kill cannon thing? Normally. Yeah, and it gets to fire twice. So the first 2d6, this is just, oh no, you've used your reroll, haven't you? You've used your reroll for this phase. So you can't reroll any of these dice anyway, so. So I'll work with big shooters first anyway. All right, okay. I'm gonna do the shooting for that vehicle afterwards. Yeah, yep. So this is the big shooters. Big shooters, he's got more dacker on the unit. So fives and sixes and he explode into extra shots. That's a poor amount of shots. Still three hits though, another three shots. Still need five and sixes, number one. One. No one. Bounces off of the so. big shooters now. So it's this big cannon thing. Because it gets to fire twice for the periscope, it's 4d6 shots. 9, 10, 11 shots then, sir. I'm going to. You can't reroll. Can I not reroll one dice? No. No. Right, okay. No. That's so. why I said roll them all because normally you reroll the amount of hits, you reroll both dice. Right. But you've used your reroll to reroll a wound, if you remember already. Yes, I have, yes. No so, mistake. Yeah. Eight. Ten, that were eleven, weren't it? Uh it was, sir, yes. So eleven dice. Ooh. 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 Hitting on fives and sixes. Hitting on fives and sixes. This might hurt me. I hope so. Maybe not. Well, maybe not. But your two fives and sixes allow two extra shots, or three fives and sixes allow three extra shots because of uh, more DACA. No. Nothing. Three, so you need fours to wound, sir. One. One. Minus two. It goes through. Don't know how much damage does it do. The two. 
Two points of damage. That one's now down to seven. Cannon wagon is now opening up on the vehicles. I want to try and get rid of this multi melter lemon ross. 2d6 shots. He's got eight shots. He's going to need fours to actually hit because he gets a plus one. And there's no negative modifiers between me and him. Wow. Two. He's doing well. The strength of the kill cannon, the super cannon, is eight. So he's going to need fours. No, he bounces off. Yeah. Will's, Will's normally weighted dice, not doing very well on this one. <laughs> so that's the shooting over this that's end. That's the shooting this end. And we've got lots more shooting this end. So the three shots from this thing. Threes and fives on the red, I'm guessing. Yep, rockets, red. Yeah. Others, red. So one hit with the... I can't remember what the weapon's called, but one hit with it. Um, roll to wound, because I can't remember what toughness this is. I know I've kind of changed it a bit. Let me check that. Toughness of the stages is still eight. So that's not gone through. All right then, sir. It's the this bone breaker. the bone breaker. So again, it's got a kill cannon. Uh, I'll shoot that first. Which bone breaker? Heavy D six shots. Uh, uh, well, it's kill cannon. Sorry, yeah, heavy D six shots. Sorry. Well, number five, you're getting a lot of shots. Yeah, it's but just not many hits. The the wildly missing, wildly missing. That's better. Two hits. Uh, Forster wound. A dagger. No. No, sorry. Forster wound. One round's um, gone through. The kill cannon is minus two and a straight two damage. Bounces off the front of this armour. These these are fresh tanks by the looks of this here. Oh, a couple of them are. <laughs> these are fresh tanks. Any more shots from that thing? Yeah, there's got... Um, four big shooters. Four big shooters. I forgot the big shooters on the cannon wagon. Did I? Yeah. We'll go back to that in a minute. I'll go back to that. So this has got four, so I need a few dice. He's got a few more dice. Big shooters. Two sixes. So two extra shots. There were one five in that, so I'll leave that there. Okay. I'll leave up two more. Nice. Oh, three. Need fives. Oh no. Oh. I'm sure the orcs have not. Are we sure they're not have put paint in the guns or some form of squidgy weapon here? Because this well, is possibly. Yeah, maybe yeah. they've just left the uh, covers on the. Feet. I think maybe they are. <laughs> they are. They are orcs. Right. So everything from the scorcher wagon going into the Lehman Ross will rolled off camera. Fine, and got a six. So six from his scorching missile. Going to hit. He's got three hits there. One daka daka. Four hits. So then he's fives. No, oh. bounce off still. And then we've got a, is it a super two super shooters, which is six. Two hits. Again, the five. Oh, wow. Actually, and then a through. twin big shooter, which is a six shot. Another hit. That's it. Oh, no. Roll to wound. Yay! <laughs> he got one. Save. Oh, he's gone through. I'm Yay! down to six. <laughs> Maybe that's the hard paint gun. Probably. So he's a little bit out of charge range and he's not done a lot of damage if I'm honest. You've seen his dice rolls have been very, very, unfortunately, Wilkes. Wilkes? Another of Wilkes' games on the channel at the moment is he's doing a little bit on the old poor side. He has managed to knock a wound off this with the shooters from, over, from the, with the data guns from over there. I've got blue tech in here. But uh, currently it's, it's not looking good and I've got my turn to come and he's moved forward into my field as it were so let's go into gene sealer cult turn one right mine have advanced forward i'm abandoning the back the infantry's got out though one of the chimeras with the melter guns they're going to try and deal with this these two have kind of moved sideways to try and get some line of sights onto these orkies and the command tank has rolled to try and deal with some of the threats down here now i've got to go with orders first 
So I'm going to have to go with the command tank. He's going to reroll ones on himself. I'm guessing that's going to change in future, but at the moment, it's not. So I'm going to roll Mechanica Stice up with a D freeze. Them two with a D sixes. He's moved four inches, so he's allowed to fire all of his weapons. Uh, he can fire his main cannon twice, and I'm going to fire at the shock drunk dragster because I really don't like him. That cannon can, if you do hit and wound, can be quite devastating. <laughs> So that's a three, four, that's eight, so that's 12 plasma shots. So needing force to hit and I'm overcharging. Rerolling ones due to my order. Uh, so I've suffered a wound, I'm down to 11. I have hit quite a few times though. Strength eight. Freeze. Oh, what a catastrophe. Bad luck, not just you having the bad luck there sir what a catastrophe two wounds it's minus three i'm not quite sure what your save is he doesn't get additional save on that so yeah every bolter to come misses oh no we roll ones still misses so that uh quite lucky on the vehicle there he's complete he's dodged he's weaved he's got four wounds left and he's not been taken out so does the stage his tank Finish him off. So the stage E's vehicle, opening fire. One hit. Its strength is 10. So it needs a three. It's got it. Now, I believe the stage E's is D3 plus three in damage. So that's probably gonna make my tank go pop, which will be five. So how many wounds you've got left? You've got four, haven't you? Uh, and it is a minus four on the stage he's uh, kind of so it's going to go straight through it will make you explode do you explode no. no now hang on before taking it off so that's a wrecked vehicle we're going to leave rex on um because i've got priority target i need some way of fucking telling myself that he scored a kill so there we are i'll put a point on top of his head but that's everything down here. This wagon is still hurtling towards me with some boys in it. And we've still got some mega knobs that need dealing with. So let's uh, let's go down the field and see what happens here. This battle cannon, heavy bolters, last cannon, opening up on those boys. All right, so starting with the battle cannon. Let's see if I can get some of these down. 2d6 shots, 11 shots. Will is cringing. I need force to hit. Decent spread. I do need freeze to wound. Oh, failing on the wounds. Same as you here, sir. Three wounds, minus two. So you're going to need sixes. No. Three fives. No. Right. The first one causes one damage. The second one causes two damage. So that will kill one. And then the last one causes three damage, so that'll kill another one. I've got a, yep, so I've got the heavy bolters, which we'll do now. Oh, they're better. Needing force to wound, though. Oh, that's a lot better. That's three wounds, minus one, sir. Needing fives. To save two, so one of them is down to one wound remaining. And then I've got a last cannon, which hits. And doesn't wound because it needs a free, so that bounces off as well. The next unit battle cannon, last cannon, two plasmas. Which the plasmas all uh, fire the battle cannon first. He's gonna go into that squad there. All right, I get some sorry, some dice out. Right, 2d6, five, six, seven, eight. Eight needing force to hit. That's a lot better. Needing freeze to wound. Two, sir. Two needing sixes. One six. So that one with one wound on will get annihilated. Heavy bolter again. Three hits. No wounds. 
And a Laz cannon coming in. Hits. It wounds this time. That goes straight through your armour because it's minus a three. And does four damage. That takes out another knob biker. Now, that's half, kind of, there's four of them gone out of a nine. That might be a morale issue, but we do have bare boss with them. So, it's never a good thing. Over here, let's see what happens. So this vehicle, I did play Jerry Rigged at the beginning of the turn. And he's now going to open fire with everything into the cannon wagon. So 2d6 shots from the battle cannon. Seven. Seven. That's three hits. Yeah, there's no minus between us on that one. That's three wounds, I think. Uh, strength eight. And I think your toughness is eight, isn't it, on that? Roll, roll check. It is toughness seven with a three up armor, so he's going to need three saves of five. He got two. D3 damage for three. So he's down to 13 wounds. Uh, we've got two multi-melters coming in. And these are going to be the ones that's going to hurt him. I hope. Three hits. Strength eight. Three wounds. Minus four. So don't get the save. Don't get the save. Burn straight through under the D6 each. Multi-melters are very, very powerful in this new game. Five. That's nine. That's 11 wounds, sir. So he's still alive with two left. And then I've got our last cannon. <laughs> Which fails to hit. Reroll. Still fails to hit. No. <laughs> God damn you. So in a desperate bid to try and get rid of it, the multi-laser and heavy bolter will open fire. Heavy bolter will be in the white dice. Two hits from each. I'm going to need fives on either of them to do any damage. The heavy bolter has gone through. Now, this is deadly because this is the minus one. And this is two damage. He saves it. It plinks off. Multi-laser from the other Chimera into the same target. Whiffs completely. Still in shock. Trying to fight Snotlings. That's running around the inside from the shock attack gun attack earlier on. Right. Let's see what these guys do. I'm going to do a multi melter. I'm going to do a melter guns first. So they're firing up at that. Minus one to hit. So I'm going to need fours because they're veterans. I've got two hits. I need threes to wound. I've got two wounds and it's minus four, sir. So that's going to go through. What's the amount of wounds that this thing has? I don't think it's a bad amount, but I don't think it's enough to stop the train in one go. Uh, so 12 wounds. 12 wounds. Now, this is D6 plus 2 because of the range. Yeah. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> so it's got, got one wound left. Uh, I was going to overcharge the plasma gun because I've got to declare that at the same time. So he's going to fire the plasma. With one more hit. Because the minus. Right, the plot. Mm. Yeah, that's a drop. Fails to wound. God damn it, I'm going to have to rely on my las guns. So the las guns and a bolt pistol, which is represented by the Mechanicus dice. Fours. Healthy spread of hits. It's a good healthy spread of hits. I need sixes on the white, fives on the Mechanicus. So two las guns have wounded it. It is the burner bomber. Save of four up, and it will still has his reroll for this phase. Oh no, there's no point. Oh. Do you explode? Actually, he explodes on a four up. Oh, Jesus, come on! No! Oh. <laughs> I, can't even that. I love, I love that. Well, uh, to be honest, before we, we finish that, we're gonna we probably will look at a strategy and see if it can blow up. So morale wise, Will is gonna spend two CP to auto pass there, and we have a down flyer. So don't get me wrong, it looks. I need to take a. I don't need to take a wound off. That one. I need to take a wound off that one. 
It looks worse than what it actually is, I'll be honest, because uh, Will's got his guys to come on. I've still got my guys to come on, but he has injured a few of these. Some of them are down to seven and some infantry out. So he's got a good chance of murderizing some stuff. Right, let's go into Orcs turn two. So the Orcs have trundled forward. This uh, wagon coming closer and closer and the other boys trying to get as far forward as they possibly can. These speed freaks are just about ready to assault all sorts of different things. I'm hoping I can defend that well enough because he's blocking me in. And then these here are, uh, well, surrounded because, of course, they've dropped in behind my enemy lines after I've taken out that flyer. That's been repaired. Uh, four points have been put back on due to Grot Riggers and the mechanic himself. So I'm looking at uh, possibly a collapse, maybe, of this flank. I don't know yet. More decker has been played on this unit. Go ahead then, sir. You're firing at the Luminous. I am, yes. And you're firing the sixes to hit. Well, three, threes, uh, yeah, fours. So that one's hit twice, and a Mordaka is activated. Just yeah. roll that red, if you want. The other way. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't hit because you've minus one for your advance. So two have hit. So, so strength eight weapon. Strength eight weapon. You're going to need fours. One's gone through. You've still got four command points left. If you want to re-roll that wound. Yeah, sorry. Oh, two of them. And that, uh, because it's a six, I think you're getting a mortal. Oh, right, okay. So, yep, yeah, I'm going to be suffering one mortal wound after my saves. I don't save any because it's minus three on that. 2d6 damage, sir. So that's five. That takes me down to two. And then the mortal wound takes me down to one. It's still alive with one wound remaining. And he's going to do a disappearing, do a disappearing act that causes himself a mortal wound. Orcs firing copter rockets. Two are going into the Chimera of our needing sixes. The rest into the Lehman Russ needing fives. I don't know why you've rolled three red. And they've all missed. Assault. Assault two, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So one hit. Does it get the extra? So that's two hits on the Lehman Russ. No, no. bounces off. Damn it. <laughs> so, uh, mech, shock attack gun. Alright, he's going to fire into this guy. Mech hasn't moved. D6, single D6. Oh, it's both for strength. Strength is five. five again. So it's D6, D6 shots. D6 shots. For five. five. Likes to roll them fives and it comes to how many shots you're going to do. And it's fives normally because you stood still, but still minus one because I'm in the woods. So sixes, sir. One hit, and you need an extra shot. No. No. Needs fives to wound. No. No, bounces off. But, Rob, is it to hit or to wound that causes me a wound with this weapon? I don't know. Cannon Wagon is now trying to finish off the job. They are firing at the big tank. So the big, big shooters. Big oh, shooters. Lobber into the... He hasn't got a lobber, he's got a lobber. He's got a lobber. Yeah, yeah. Well, so that'll get me with it. <laughs> So the big shooter's off of that then. Yep. Into the uh, chap at the back. No problem. Go on in, sir, needing fives and sixes. No change for being it's on four threes, ones. isn't it? Yeah. It is. So you've got nine shots. Nine dice. Any sixes? One, two, three. Any fives? Four. So you've got three extra shots then, sir. Oh, I know that says a three, but it was actually a three. And another two hits. You now need fives to wound. That's, ah, why, that's why the kill cannon is firing. 2d6 shots from the kill cannon for seven. Fives needed. Oh my god! A complete miss. That's insane. He's, he's still. That, Big Mac's getting it way too much with his massive cannon. Right, right. What's, what's next? These lads here, right, these lads here, they're going to... I've no idea what he's doing. So this massive cannon that's on this is firing everything into the Lehman Rust battle tank. 46 shots from his weird kill cannon because of periscope. So that's 8, that's 13 shots. 
There you go, 13 shots coming in, needing fives. Four hits, two sixes. So four hits. Now the strength of this cannon is eight, did you say? Yeah. It's changing some dice, old school gaming. Uh, shouldn't roll the same dice that you rolled to hit. Mentality kicking in there. Two wounds. Two wounds. Minus. Three, I believe. Two shots all. Yeah. All comes short the book. Minus two, two damage to pop. I've saved them both. Oh, you horror. <laughs> I thought you were going to swear then. I thought you were going to swear then. <laughs> right, so that's 12 big shooters. Yeah. This one wound tank is like, I ain't, I ain't dying. And it's not. So 12. Four, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got his 12. Right, fives and sixes there. Four of them. Right, that's probably better from big shooters. Maybe I should get rid of it, pop them, just put big shooters in a thing sticking around. Oh, what we got, what we got, what we got, two, there's no three, minus. Four, right. right, so there's one failed save. I'm gonna reroll that. Yeah. <laughs> he saved, he's still alive! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Sorry, Sam. What was that? Oh well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Lover coming in. Every D6 against the infantry. Minimum of three because it's blast. So he's got three shots. He's got two hits. One extra shot. Three. So he needs three to wound. All yeah, of them. All of them. And yep, three go down. That's not good for my vet. The Death Killer War Trike, the boss is firing at this guy here. He's managed to strip off another wound from his boomsticks. He's now going with his cutter. He needs sixes. He got a double one. completely. <laughs> oh dear. That, that was a bit anticlimactic. Yeah. Right, so this unit is, the bone break is now shooting. All the boys from there opened fire and didn't do anything to the tank. So, go on then, sir. D6 shots. Three shots. We've still got three command points left. He's got two hits. This is strength eight, so he's going to need some fours. He's got two wounds. Oh, right. It's a minus of two and two damage. And it, all of it goes through, so that's four damage. So that leaves me on seven. Got the big shooters. For assault three, is that right? Yes, you've got four of them. Lots of dice. Needing fives and sixes. Three extra shots. One more. Another wound. Damn it! Maybe I should just have big shooters on everything. Down to six wounds. That's half damaged. So. I believe that might be At the end of shooting. his shooting phase, we've got three guys removed from this squad here. We've got that there still on seven. That guy here is untouched. This one down on one, surprisingly. Ten wounds left there. That's fresh as a daisy. And this one is hurting badly. The stage his tank destroyer is not destroyed, and I've still got those guys left. Everything now for Will is on the table. So, sir, what are you doing? Charging. <laughs> so combat is becoming to become engaged this lot has pulled in they've managed to get stuck in with those guys the boss thankfully for will yeah he got managed to get stuck in with both vehicles i overwatched on here they lost a guy on the way in but i did lose two wounds because they overcharged the plasma i've actually forgot to fire the heavy bolt on that we'll come back to that in a minute and he used what's he called Booster, ramming, speed. ramming speed to hurtle across the terrain and smash into this guy doing two mortal wounds he's going to go with these guys first because i think he knows i will interrupt with this if need be so, so these get 
They get D3 attacks per attack roll. So basically, it's six D3 attacks. So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine attacks with these whirly blades here. So hitting on threes, Will's gone all the way over there. So apologies for any motion sickness. It's not too bad. And he needs three to wound because he gets plus one. So that's three. And then I need fives to save, and I lose another two out of that squad. Boss now is going to use his Snagger Claw against the one that's wounded. He's got Mighty's right. Does that plus one to your strength as well? It does, yes. So he's going to be strength eight, and he's going to have six attacks. So he needs twos to hit. Go on then, Will, sir. Uh, that's five hits. He needs threes. No, he needs fours. Sorry to wound. Two wounds, a lot of ones there. Oh yeah, we all failed for Snagger Claw. Oh, four of them. Oh, that's looking better. Minus two, that's fives to save, and it's D3. I saved one. So that's three D3 attacks, sir. Well, three D3. Three D3 damage. Two, three, four. So that takes it down to six. Now on to the nobles are going to hurry in. And they've all got power claws. Because he can. So, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think these are about three attacks apiece, aren't they, these things? I believe so, yeah. But they're going to be hitting on fours due to the claws. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, three attacks yeah. apiece. Uh, yeah, there's no extra one for the uh, boss knob on the wall. How bike. still left there? Four, sir. You've got four remaining. After losing one to the disaster, my disastrous Overwatch. That's, That's a lot of hits. One fail. One fail. I'll just pull these back and I'll put them back. And then your strength is ten. You need freeze. And again, we're rolling amazingly well when it comes to wounding. Jesus. Four wounds. Right, I'm not quite sure. Oh, roll the dice and then we'll look up what the claw does. Because I can't remember what the minus is for the orc claw. It's minus three. So it is minus three. D3 damage. Four's gone through. I can't stop it. There's no point even trying to stop it. So I don't explode. I am a wreck, sir. Very good. I am a wreck. Consolidation move with the boys. Bonebreaker up next. He's not damaged. He's got six attacks plus three for his roller. Plus D6. Oh. One. <laughs> You've got a command point left. Fuck it, use it. Oh, he's using it. He's using it. He's got no command points left. Go on in, sir. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm psychic. I need to put lottery on. 11 attacks with the bone breaker. <laughs> now, it does need fives to hit with this. This is the downside to it, but it is a strength of nine, minus two, and two damage. So there's a good chance that if he gets some good hits and good wounds here, then he could remove the my hits tank. Might not be a problem, it's the wounds that could be. The wounds is easier, the hits. The hits need five, your wounds need three. Oh dear, three. So it's not enough to kill my vehicle, even if you're wounded with a wall. And your wounds with one. And then I need a five. And save it. <laughs> right. This concludes my. Uh, this concludes, uh, yeah, concludes your close combat phase. I'll just do my attacks back. And I've done my turn. Uh, sorry, my close combat attacks back. I haven't done anything. So I need a morale test. I've lost five from this squad. Five, six, seven, eight. I will double check because I am Brood Brothers. Right. The morale has passed. Will's just pointed out we've not done Firestorm at all <laughs> during the game. So we're going to start that on turn three. If we get there. But <laughs> in the movement, my movement, turn turn two, is not moved, he stood still. Them two have stood still. That's dead. They've fallen back, so they can't do anything. The veteran's got out to try and take these out. He rolled forward two inches because he's only got a move of four. These two chimeras rolled forward to try and put some hurt onto this cannon and try and get out in his line of sight. Gene Steelers have turned up, so cult members down here. We've got some cult members down there. And we've got a shit ton of cult members that have they turned up behind these lads here with my boss. So we're going to go 
into my psychic phase. Right, I've done my psychic power over there. I did mutagenic deviation, which activated on this squad. And I tried to do the psychic stim, not psychic stimulus, might from beyond on those guys there and failed. So I've done well. Right, so <laughs> I'm going to start with some shooting into combat. So this lad with his giant ass cannon is going to fire into this tank here. Minus one to hit. Hits with one. Oof. The strength is 10. He is through. And it's D3 plus three damage. So six wounds off it. Wow. So, so he's definitely shot him and he's definitely made sure that he's paid the price. Next up, this guy versus the uh, boss. Let's see if we can cause more injuries to him. Heavy bolters, needing fives. I got one hit. I don't even know what I need to wound. But a six will wound. Minus one, sir. Minus one is... He's got a four up anyway. Yeah, yeah. Invulnerable. I don't know what his but, base is. Well, he's, he's lost. So he suffers two damage out of that, sir. And then a, a last cannon. To the face. Which doesn't hit. And then we've got two D3 shots from the plasma. They are going to overcharge. That's three, four, five. I need fives to hit. Drop the dice. Lovely, lovely carpet. So I've overcharged. I'm down to six again because I jerry rigged. And I've hit you with a plasma. Right, okay, so I need to roll. Hang on. And I've wounded with the plasma as well. Yes. And he's got cyborg body, which I forgot about. Uh, right, but here we go. Last cannon then in the face. No, I'm not re rolling. Right, so that's all the shooty shooty into combat stuff. Did a couple of wounds, he did quite well there, smashy smash. Uh, although I've got a funny feeling I'm going to be rolled over here next turn. Right, do some pistols, I'll do them off camera. So I fired some pistols into that, did nothing. Fired some pistols into that, did nothing. Now it's time for these guys to fire in at ease. So I'm going to fire some plasma overcharge death. Oh, didn't over, didn't kill him himself. Five hits. Toughness is five, so I need threes. Five. That kills two, because the four wounds apiece. That will kill two of the copters. And then I've got my las weapons. And the las weapons reduce it down to one remaining. They can't fire, so the multi lasers, heavy flamer, and heavy bolt is going to try and rinse the last of that vehicle off <laughs> so i'm going to do all these together so two multi lasers needing fours it's three eights the toughness of this vehicle is seven so i still need fives that's two wounds sir no no modifiers so save the three off saved i've got a heavy bolter all hit oh getting the target on there one wound, minus one, two damage. It's gone through, two damage. How many wounds has it got left? Four, so it's on two now. D6 auto hits from a heavy flamer. Needing fives. Nothing, god damn you. Damn it. So this Lee Russ, I know that's a threat in my backyard, but if he rolls a five or six for his morale, he's gone. So, the Luminous is going to fire the Battle Cannon and the Last Cannon into that vehicle. Battle Cannon, two shots. For seven. So, just, yep. Yeah. Dice is, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Needing sixes. Whiffed completely. Uh, definitely, uh, uh, definitely a few there. Uh, right. Last Cannon. Hits. <laughs> Last cannon also wounds, and it's a minus three, so you can't save it. It just goes straight through. On this chap here? On that chap there, yes, because it's only a four up. D6 damage for one. I was very anticlimactic. I need to save them um, command points. And then the two multi-melters are going into the kill of a cannon wagon. I need a six. I got one. I need a three. I got a five. Can't save it because it's minus four. 
How many's left? Fifteen. No, no, I mean that oh, thing. Oh, maybe two. Yeah, yeah, not him, him. Oh. <laughs> two, right, here we go. You know what's going to happen here, don't you? You're going to roll one. Oh, no, I didn't. Two. Oh, thank God. Does Do he explode? Go Do you go by? No. no. So he's a wreck. So let's put some stuff on him. That's going to be it for my shooting. So I've managed to take out one of the cannon wagons. And I've managed to take out two of them. Oh, and that'll get a point. Uh, right, so charging then. I'm going to go with the unit that needs 11 first. Into it. that. Do you wish to overwatch? I can't. I ain't got any points. Oh, no, he hasn't, has he? Oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> I'm here sitting there going... Oh, best be careful. Yeah. All yeah, right, no problem. Be careful, are you? Going for Eleven it. into it. Nothing. Oh, right. We'll. Yeah. I know. We'll, we'll come around here and I'll do all this and we'll see if we get in. Have you? So, they've managed to get in. They didn't. None of them did. God damn it. What? And I'm not charging with any down here. Yeah. That's that's annoying. That's quite irritating. But we've got one bunch of guys in there. So that's. Do that combat first. All right, I've done the lash with and bone sword. That's done nothing. Now it's time for the claws. So it's two attacks apiece for the claws and then plus one for the knife. The Mechanicus dice will represent the knives. I need freeze. <laughs> right, I've hit. Uh, fives and sixes to wound. So two saving throws. That's three. That one's straight through with your force. That's one damage regardless. And that one's minus one. So you've got one with your minus one, two normally, and one that's gone straight through, which you've already taken. Right, so uh, one with minus one. Yeah, is on the red. red. And how many others? Just two normal. Just two normal. So the red needs a five, the yep. others need four. Another two damage, just two wounds in total. So, right, then it's the drills. Heavy rock drill. So I've got two of these. They've hit. The heavy rock drill is times two strength. Now my base strength is ten, uh, five, so that's going to be to make it ten. They've all gone through. It's minus three. So save, no save. No save. So that's four damage so far. So far, then will. That's four wounds off, and then the rock drill ability gets in. Yep. So that puts it down to eight. We've got four already. So right, so after the bear has made all its attacks, roll a d6 for each model that suffered damage from this weapon, this phase that's not been destroyed. On a two up, the model uh, being rolled for suffers one mortal wound, and if that model is not destroyed, you roll a d6, and on a three, it's another, on a four, five. So I've got four of these. Yep. So, mm -hmm. so the first lot. So they all cause another that's another four mortal wounds there, sir. So what are you down He's to? On four He's on four wounds left. Yep. So I need threes on these. Oh, so yeah. that's another three mortal wounds. He's on one. And then I need at least a four. Yeah, manages to get him. Does he go bang? Does he go bang? This is when you want to say yes, sir. No. no. Is there any units inside? There are. Ah, yes. right. Okay, roll for all your men. There, I've got like that. So there's these chaps. It's them, so it's just ten, isn't it? Uh, yes. I know there's nine models there, but one of them's on the bit on the actual thing. There we go. Two go down. And then you dismount, and we put the because remember we're not removing the vehicles, so now. There is a barrier between me and him. So yes, they've popped that tank. The guys have got out, consolidated, couldn't get in touch with them. These guys, on the other hand, here, these guys, uh, he gets to fight. And he's going to attack the wounded tank. So six attacks, sir. All hit. This might be a dead vehicle. Thanks for rolling them so far away. Um, right. Uh, Force to wound with re-rolls. One so far, two so far. Three. Three. Now this does is minus two and does D3 damage, so there's a good chance it might. Two's gone through. So two D3. 
the big ones. Ah, no, three. So that reduces that one down to three. That's still alive. Uh, my turn. He'll attack. Doesn't do anything. And then this thing attacks my tank. Who's got nine attacks, hitting all fives, yep. Yeah. I'm repeat, repeating Will, what's Will saying here? Four hits, that's good. Strength is nine. Is it wounded on fours? It's wounded on threes. But are you just rolled five dice there, sir? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right, okay, I'm taking it off. Yeah. Right, no problem. Uh, right, minus two. Oh, it's gone through. It's reduced it down to four wounds remaining. <laughs> good. It's not good for me. It's not good for me. Right. Bit of a bloody nose smacked there onto the orc team. Like I said, we didn't do the firestorm, so we're going to do the firestorm at the start. We're going to start doing it on turn three, so it's per person's command phase. So I'll bring you into that, and then we'll let Will do his movement. Right then, beginning of turn three, Will's command phase. He's got two sixes, he can pick two units to suffer D3 mortal wounds. Oh, I wonder which one he's going to pick. I wonder which one he's going to pick. That one there, that's on one wound. So that's got a wound, that's going to die. Next one. There's three yeah. wounds left on that one. He's too near me boss, I don't want it going bang. <laughs> boss is how many wounds left? Six. Six. Actually, I can fight back with these. All right, we'll do that. Do that. Right now. There we go. Oh, I got a hit. And I got a wound. So just for you. Do you see? <laughs> oh, so, right. Yeah. So he's got five. Oh, cyborg body. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Cyborg body stopped him from being crushed by uh, yeah. the tank. It's a brace on his wheel. That's why he's got yeah. minus one. Held it up. Right. So which one were you in it then, sir? Uh... I'm gonna go here. You're gonna go with him? How dare you? Go on him. D3. Yep. And he suffers two mortal wounds. So that tank is definitely dead. It explodes! Yes! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so that's gone up, taking out two of that fellow squad members next to him, which is a bit of a shame for me. But this lot was just out of reach of that exploding tank. But because it's exploded, that's why I've taken it off. Right yeah, then, sir. To do morale for that shop over there. Oh yeah, we we keep forgetting certain things here. Go on then, back in time. He's fine. Right, let's get on with your movement. Right. right so copter rocket has moved over here. He's got some drags jumpsters that's jumped over to this point, trying to target my uh, blokey, uh, my primark and uh, patriarch sorry and then the orcs have decided we're in for a fight and we're going to try and charge over here the boss has left himself stuck in mainly to try and negate in case i decide to do any overwatches that's what that is isn't it no because i can shoot oh. while he's sat there oh he's a, he's a vehicle isn't he? uh these guy lads have moved around and with will being blood axe is disengaged from here to charge back in if need be so then sir we're going with the copter rockets into the primary first yep. so He's not advanced, and he's five, and he's missed me both. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Oak shooting is very, very climactic. Do you want to fire the... Uh... Yes, yep. I will do. So he has moved, but it's D6 shots. So, so we're going to get four, four shots. Roll two D6 for your strength. And you've got five, you've got an eight this time. So four eight. shots at strength eight. Uh, no oh. hit, no hits now, because he minus one because he moved. Have you oh, Of course, yeah. Right. You've got one command point. Well, I'm guessing you want to save that for something yeah, else. I do need yeah. to save that. I definitely need... Oh, shit, I forgot to move some orcs. Where? What? Where? Oh, right, yeah, we'll let you move then. So, tell me so what over this here. side, Will is chucking a tank buster bomb into these. So that's an automatic three shots. You need fives to hit. Yeah, no, nope. tank buster bomb yeah. hits the top of the actual roof that the orcs are underneath of and sticks there for a bit. Orcs look a little bit perplexed. And then... <laughs> Nine shots with your bolt, with your slug. I'm going to call them bolt pistols, what they used to be years ago. With sluggers, one hit, that doesn't wound. Now, the grots 
Some of them can see, yep, pretty much the Grox can see into here if they want to, or they can fire at my, oh, actually, no, the, the Grox can't fire at my Lord because they're closer to the Grox unit than the Lord is, and he's within three inch. So we're going to shoot with the Grox. Yeah. So the Grox are firing. I think it's one shot apiece. Yes, yeah, so they hit on fours. Hit on fours. And do they have Daka 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 as well? Yeah, I believe they do. Yeah, two extra shots, I That wasn't a six. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. There we go. Strength for three, so me and fives, and we got a wound. Nope, that will be one steel. Okay on oh yes, I have. Thank you. These are the special unit. Thank you very much for reminding me. Nope. So one does go down. And then you're gonna fire with this chuff nut. Yes. <laughs> Is he firing into mine? Yeah, right now there's a minus one because his advanced but also minus one because of his um warlord trait so you're going to need fours on your big cannon thing and you're going to need Five. sixes on yep. the rocket so the big cannon thing hits for one in the three this is bad oh, that is and i think it does a mortal wounding as well i need to save no, I'm going to re-roll that. No, I failed. So, it takes one. so roll this for damage, sir. Uh, Down to four command, three command points left. Will still has one. Go on to D6 damage. For six, that's seven wounds. So, unfortunately, my warlord pops up and then just goes Bleh! out of existence. He's Lovely. Gonna do what oh yeah, first. he's going to use his command points. He's down to zero, and that will mean he's got four wounds left. Right, Will is now using this here, and he's going to engage that tank now. This is the weird weapon because it's a ranged weapon, and I'm in cover, so he's actually a minus one to hit with this, even though it's an assault weapon. So it's cutter, it's two shots, needing sixes. No, and then he's got his snagger claw. Single shot needing a six. Oh, it's a hit. Does he get another one? No. Uh, he needs a five and he can re roll wound. No, he needs a six. Sorry, and he can re roll wound rolls. Ooh, close. Oh, he does it. Doesn't get through the armor though. And then the twin boomsticks, six of them. Adds one to hit because of a short range, so he's back to fives. One hit, another attack. Just, Just needs a five. Yep. And save. So Lehman Russ is still alive. Uh, I'll put you. Going down to that, to the and then these shooter boys, let me come round there with you, sir. So we've got a bit Right, Will's just going to target the ones out in front of it. It is a trees, so it's a minus one to hit. He's got a combi flamer. Do you want to flamer first? Yeah, go flamer first. D6 auto hits him with a flamer first. Two. No wounds. And then he's got two, four, six, eight. Sorry, two. He's got seven guys with two shots. So that's 14, and then he's got a big shooter. Which actually, they all need the same to hit and to wound. So you might as well do no. them all together. The big shooter's uh, strength five. Yeah, and I'm toughness three. So strength four, strength five, toughness yeah. three, doesn't really matter. So it's 14, 15, 16, 17 shots, sir. Oh, Will's trying to, trying to get all the dice together. Oh, he's dropping stuff. Not sure. Running commentary on, on Will's dice collection here. It's like a snooker thing. Is that 17, sir? Yeah. Needing sixes because of a cover. He's got a couple of hits there. Two. <laughs> so two hits so far two hits so far needing freeze two and i need fives one goes down so, we, so know where the bikes are going. we know where the bikes are going we're going to basically be going into close combat now so let's get some charges done and we'll bring you back into the fight so he managed to go back in i made an error i did two command points i did overwatch and i did uh defensive gunners didn't hit anything and i I shouldn't have done that because it makes me down to one CP. All the orcs over there charged in. We've got some bikers charging in down here. All the orcs over there charged in. 
the whirling burly chopper chopper has charged in down here as well and then the uh back boy what we decided is, is that he jumped on the barrel and the barrel's crumbled underneath him and he's fallen on his ass and that's why he missed and failed to charge and yeah the little uh rot's laughing at him little, the next one going up the tube yeah little little rot oil is laughing at him going nah dickhead and he's picked him up and he's going to chuck him up the tube so <laughs> 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 it's like you to get <laughs> death copter first then sir 2d3 attacks uh, that's three four attacks then sir so you need freeze three hits you need freeze to wound only one and i've saved surprisingly oh, that's a, a very good result for very mine good. these orcs are now going to have a go at the rest of my lads there lads turn it into an orc it's going to be 17 attacks we've got seven boys two attacks apiece and uh, the knob is also Got no special weapons, he's just got three attacks as well. 17 even freeze. Ooh, that's good for me. Needing freeze again. This is the only downside to this army. Oh dear, four. I didn't save any. So one of them going down will be the lash whip. Because he gets to fight regardless. And then I'll lose another three. So we'll come back to that. So he gets to fight before he dies. Right. Grots or boys first? Oh, well, Grots first. Grots first. There's ten of them. They're all in combat. Because, yeah, should have moved in. Hang on. Uh, little turbans and everything. One attack apiece. One attack each. I do like these smaller Grot models. One attack a piece, you've got ten attacks needing fives. Uh yeah. Oh, got two hits. Uh one wound. Oh no, you need sixes, you're only strength for two. <laughs> I didn't realise I thought it was strength three. That was really funny. Ish. <laughs> and then the boys. All the boys are in combat. I'm guessing the big boss has got some form of big weapon. Yeah, he's got the kill saw. He's got a kill saw, which is minus one to hit. Unless we've all got choppers. Would you like to do a kill saw first, then, sir? Three yeah, attacks. Get, get, oh, that's way, hitting all fours, obviously. Yep. Three hits. Can't roll that for shooting, can you? I wish I could. <laughs> Put a wound in, anyway. Two to wound. Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. No, I am laughing. That was funny. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Um, okay. 27 right. attacks. Because it's three attacks each because of your chopper. 27 attacks. Oh. Freeze to hit. That not look good. It doesn't look good, mate. Actually, it doesn't look as bad as what I initially thought. After that, there's no way. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 that's actually better than what it looked like. Yep, uh, forced to wound. Hmm, slightly better than average. What well, you got there? Three, six, ten. Needed to fail 20 rolls. 20 rolls? Yeah, You've got 10 they, wounds. Yes, but the thing is, they get the. Um, From up, up above. Oh, yes, they do. All of them and then fail all of them again. So fives and sixes. So that's four. That's good. And then grizzled, which is part of the campaign. Another one saved. So I'll lose. Five out of that. Reduce the inevitable. <laughs> well, I'll be honest, they have lost six now, so there's a good chance I may fail them around. So, so knobs on bikes. He's got, on his there, mate. he's got there's four guys left and one of them's a sergeant, but he doesn't actually change his attack characteristic. And we're all three apiece, right? 
They are free a piece, sir. Hit it on pause. Yes. Oh, that wasn't good. That was catastrophic in actual fact, I would say. Now, the strength of an obs is five, so you're going to need three still. One. One. Minus of three. D nope. D3 damage. For one. I don't think that's gone as well as what you thought there. No, absolutely not. Um, then we've got that chap there, which. I this one here. 11 hits, isn't it? He's got. He's got nine, six, oh, hang on, he's on ten wounds left. Is he still on six? So he's got nine attacks still. He gets an extra D6 for charging for one. Does well every time. Ten attacks, sir, so needing five. <laughs> that sounded like a, a cry. Oh, that's pretty good, though. That's, that's a good lot of hits. That is pretty, that is really good. Uh, needing freeze. Swapping dice after the incident with the sixes versus ones. Oh, four. Minus two. It's two damage each, so I need to fail at least two of these. I failed three of them. So it's the gone. Rolls over him. It doesn't explode. It's another vehicle down. Alright, so I've attacked with this vehicle on him, did nothing, and then the war trike is attacking, he's putting four into here, two into there. Will is using the red dice to represent the two. The red dice whiffed completely there, Jesus. But thankfully on the other tank, he's hit three times. Four. Four times, sorry. Yeah, and he's, and he's fours. Only one. Oh, yes. Oh, so three. three. It's a good job you re-roll those, isn't it, really? Minus it is, two. Yeah. Oh! Two saves. One goes through. Do I attempt to try and nullify that? I'm going to use my last command point, see if I can save that, Will. No. D3 damage, sir. This needs to be a good one. Right, oh, re-roll that one. Cop there. Two. He's down to one wound remaining. Right, so down here, I've already done the bone sword and done absolutely nothing, which is great. And I've got two normal guys left. So they've got four ending claw attacks and then two normal attacks. I'll do four ending claw now. That's three hits. Three to wound because of Twisted Helix. Two wounds save with minus one. So I think that's two orcs dead, isn't it? It is, yes. Two orcs dead and then the blades, two hits. And one wound with a normal armor save. Oh, it's still decided. No, no, you've got another save. Got to save against this one. One. It's gone, and then the drills. Three hits. We need twos. Another three dead, sir. So the attacks back has done nearly as much damage as the attacks coming in there. Harsh. I actually thought I had less than that. There's five guys there because they all look it looks similar to your uh, boys then. So <laughs> two more attacks with a blade, one hit, one wound minus one. So I'll kill another one. And then the hits with a knife, one, and one wound with a knife, sir. Save for a noble. No. no, so he's down to one wound. But we've both suffered greatly there, so the morale might become a thing where we both run off. Right. These lads now are fighting, these lads, these gene stealers are now fighting back. So I've got five that have to go against the Grots. Another nine that's going to go against the boys. So the five against the Grots. Needing threes, because my lord is not with me. My lord is not with me. Why should I be? And then I need twos. Because, God, I can't pick them up. Because you're Grots. They're all dead, Dave. They're all dead. So all, definitely all of them are dead. And then I've got to add all that for the boys. Well, so against the boys, freeze to hit. It's a lot of dice. 
And then I need freeze because of the psychic power, which is still in effect until next turn. I need freeze to wound. Oh dear. Well, that's five. And that's ten. Because they're all minus one. And that's eleven. Which kills the squad. Which does just. Oh no, that's twelve. There we are. Which just kills the squad. So unfortunately, they perish. Uh, right, morale. This lad here, unfortunately, has lost eight of his lads. So seven plus D6. He didn't get the one, unfortunately. So he is... He's gone right in there. He's gone. Now, I actually lost five. I'm fine. The gene stealers here, they lost six. Seven, eight, nine. I am just fine there. So morale-wise, we all thought it might be you know, getting rid of some of morale there. I don't think so, but you know. Now, before we go into my turn three, I've got three dice in my hand. I'm going to get another three dice and we'll do this Firestone, which we keep forgetting about, which is amazing. So, yeah. i got one six. Where is this going? That's it, isn't it? It's like, where is this going to go? I'm going to go on Deathcopter. Yeah. I'm going to use an actual D3. This is a three-sided... Well, it's not three-sided dice. It's a one, two, three. Damn it! I only did one damage to the Deathcopter. Okay. They've fallen back. They've moved forward to try and engage a copy. These twos have gone down. Trying to get hold of this boy. And then, of course, these have hurtled themselves and advanced across the, the wasteland to try and get to this... What looks a bit like a mech boy workshop, let's be fair. The Gene Steelers over here have moved out of the building. They've got a warping move 13 inches right down into the valley. And they're, they're looking at charging this particular boss. They've met him before. I actually think they're the ones that put the damage in the uh, in the wheel, yeah. to be honest. So they're looking at him going, isn't he supposed to be dead? Right, let's get him. Even though I'm talking like an orc now. Right, so some shooting. So starting with this tank against Wazdaka, we're going to do last cannon, missed, 2d3 plasma shots, for four, I am overcharging because I need two, uh, I do one damage to myself, I'm on three wounds, I don't know why we're looking, it's still minus one as well, I need the sixes, so he's down to two. This guy here is going to fire the last cannons and heavy bolters into these guys. So heavy bolters to begin with. Needing fives and sixes because he's on full health. Two hits. Needing fours. One wound saved with a minus of one. Five. Saved. Last cannon. Missed. Did really, really well. And then some shooting over here. Two metal guns, plasma on overcharge if it survives, and then of course the others. So two metal guns, in fours. Oh my god, man. Plasma, one hit. Freeze needed. That's a wound. Um, I don't think you've got to save against that, mate, but it's two damage. And what's the, set? What's the, what's the minus? Minus is three. I don't think these have a three off, unfortunately. I think they have a four off. Is that a, is that a oh, unit down? So that unit, that unit down, yes. That killed two tanks this turn. I've done well, them veterans. I might need to keep those veterans on file. Pity they don't explode. Pity they don't explode, yeah. Right, over there, we've got two multi lasers. These are both going into the character, so I might as well do them together. Three hits. I don't know what toughness he is. Two wounds. He needs freeze to save because he's in cover. One save, one through. So he's lost a wound. He's down to three. Heavy bolter. All hit. All wounded. This is bad for the the, uh, the boy with the shock attack. Minus one plus one needing force. Three dice. Oh, that's another four wounds on him. He goes down. He goes down and then his body gets cremated with a burny burny flame. He is new, 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 new model syndrome now, mate. He's got to die at some point. 
Right, so that could swing because we have checked the points. Will's about 11 ahead at a minute. That could swing it. That could really swing it. Right then, sir. Let's do some charging. And even with a reroll, I whiffed the charge, as usual. So, ongoing combats first, sir. You get to pick one. So, which one would you like to go first with? It's either Wazdaka or the knobs. Uh, I'll go with my boss. Okay, Wazdaka. And we'll come back in when he sorts out what he's going to attack. So, six attacks into this vehicle with two wounds left. He wants to try and make sure that he kills it because of what happened last time. All hit this time. Forced to wound. So far, one. He rolls. Two. He only needs one to go through and to get a two on his D3. Minus two. One has gone through. D3 damage. For one, the tank is still alive. <sighs> this tank will fight. Yeah, baby. It will fight uh, Wazdaka. One hit, surprisingly. And a wound on Wazdaka. He's failed his armour. But his bionics has stopped him from being crushed again. And then these lads. So four of them, three attacks apiece. And here we go, needing fours. Healthy. Better than previous. Threes. A lot better than previous, that's four there. Okay. Saved one, so three D3 damage, sir. So three or five. I will lock me down to six wounds remaining. So welcome into turn four. Before the movement, we've got artillery coming in. They got one six. So what's that going for? That's getting rid of that tank that's on one. Okay. Like one. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, one. <laughs> good job, I did go for that. And the tank does not explode, so I'll put a wreck there in a moment. That's actually pretty good. You've managed to grab hold of that there. Right then, sir. Your turn. So movement-wise, a shock jump dragster's teleported all the way over here. These lads here have decided, no, we're having... We're wanting something to shoot that, so they pull back. The war bosses pull back. These boys are going oak, 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 because they've come across these before. They, neither of these two squads like each other very much. And then this death roll is like, oh, I'm going to have a bit of this. I'm going to try a bit, see if I can squish some of these guys down here. And I'm like, oh, lovely. So they've kind of abandoned this entire area. Their mech boy workshop has been abandoned, but they are trying to formulate and kill some stuff before they leave this battlefield. The shock jump dragster is firing first, shooting into here with a minus one, so he's going to need six and four on the green. Two sixes. Oh, two extra shots, mate. No. And that's a one. So that's a mortal wound to him, he's down a three. Not very good. But you've got a six, you got a green and a red. Roll to wound. Bean force. The red didn't wound, but the green did. The green is the uh, custom that, the custom shock rifle. Uh, so that's minus a three. And the mortal wound for yep. you. Mortal wound um, once it goes through. So bear with me a sec. Uh, yep, so it's gone through. It's D6, basically D6 plus one damage. Go on in, sir. Two. You do have a command point. But you need a five to kill me. Yeah, it's gonna Four. Four damage. He's down to two remaining. I can't <laughs> see anything else to shoot him. Well, you've got these guys that can shoot. Oh, yeah, I can actually. But, uh, shoot. I'm gonna put their shooters oh, into him. Is he. Oh no, he's not jumping away because he can't jump away. He's got no command points left. 
No, I intended to leave him there anyway. Oh, all right, you intended to leave him there, did you? Yes. Go on in, sir. So, my mega dogs, I've got a uh, custom. Right, so these lads over here as well trying to take out the tank, open fire, didn't do anything. The bone breaker is like, yep, yeah, I can see you gene stealers, you're going to get it. So everything is coming into these guys. We've got a uh, kill cannon. Is that a blast? Yes. So D6, uh, I actually think I might supersede. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Automatic maximum, sir. Because the amount of guys I've got there, which is a bit disheartening, but there we are. So, kill coming. Two hits. Where are the dice? Where are the dice? Two backers. No. So just two hits with the kill coming. Kill coming strength eight. One wound. I don't see it. So I've lost one so far. Uh, Put that down. And then you've you got. Feel no pain? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. No, I do feel it. So I've lost one so far. And then you've got four big shooters. Medium fives and sixes. There's a free dice, I don't like that. No. Oh. Yep. Four hits, needing threes. Three. Saved one. Nope, lost three guys on that. Right, apparently it's also got a lobber and a stick bomb chucker. So, lobber first, then, sir. Two hits. One backer. One backer. Three to wound. One wound. One wound. Saved. And stick bomb chucker is maximum again. One hit. I feel like I'm versing primaries, but here we all these shit various weapons. Uh, still just one hit, and you need a five on this one. No. no. Right, That's so I lost, I lost three out. from that squad there. So all of his shooting has been done. We're going to get, basically, this, this side of the battlefield is kind of just redundant at this moment in time. So let's uh, let's get some charging off here, shall we? So charging-wise, these guys are back in, he's back in, Blood Axe, of course. This thing managed to get in as well, and of course, all of these did as well. That's bad for me. So the boys are going to go, the knobs are going to go first. I'm not quite sure. The, the lag banner is within six, so we're going to get a plus one to hit, and they get three attacks apiece, sir. Sir. So that's going to be, that's going to be 15. 15 attacks, needing threes. Just to fill gaff, sir. Do you not? Two twos there. Yep. Two uh, twos to wound. That's uh, three, six, seven wounds. We've got a nice look, I mean, nice handy piles of five. So I saved two. So five go through, but you've got to roll for the damage. So roll for the damage on the first one. In fact, we'll do this off camera. So we rolled the sixes to stop the damage. I've lost five guys. This is now rolling in. He's got D6 extra attacks. Roll that again. <laughs> for five. Oh, Christ. That means he's got 14 attacks needing fives to hit. That's a little crazy. Actually needing force to hit due to the banner. Oh, due to the banner, yeah. Wag banners. Don't know why orcs don't use them more often. Maybe that's why, because they're distracting. Three hits. Oh dear. Two wounds. That's not as good as hoped. Both have gone through though, and I believe is it it's two damage in it per thing. I think so. So if we've got the first one, oh, a double six. We'll double check it in a minute then. And then the second one, he's dead. So one's definitely dead. And then using my power of the iPad, bone breaker. Two damage, yeah. Nice. Two damage. So he only kills one. Ooh. So I've lost, I have lost six men though. And then you've got your knob with the power claw. 
Yep, that's so the old Rogue Trader model. That's a very big power claw. So if it's, it's not got one. Go on, sir. So three attacks, right? Yeah. No threes. Yeah, no threes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two damage. Two wins. Yeah, two wins. Nope, gone through. Uh, D three damage apiece. So the first one causes one. So we got a six. No, he's dead. And the next one causes a two. Double six. Coming up. No. So I lose another two to the wag banner. Right, so even more combats now. The bikes, four attacks, three attacks with four guys, three attacks apiece. Go on in, sir. I'm not able to get these at all, all game. I need fours, though. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, freeze, yeah. That's five. So that's three that's gone through. So regardless of what happens, I am dead. Just lost ten. All right, he's rolling. Seven damage. And I don't explode. Luckily for me. Right, tanks popped. Tanks gone. Gene Sealers fighting back down there. They're going to go straight for the wag banner. Yeah, they don't like that wild bar. <laughs> you mean you don't? No, I definitely don't. <laughs> Toughness is four. Oh, Jesus. Three wounds, needing three wounds, needing five to save, sir. Come on. Two. So you've lost one. So you're down to three. Right. Carnage, carnage, carnage. We'll go into my turn. You've got to roll over out first. Oh, yes, I have. I, have. So I lost none. I know lost you lost. Lots. I lost lots. We'll figure about that in a minute. So morale-wise, I need a one. It's killed 11 this turn. Hey! Hey, hey they're like... <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> We're not running. We're hard. <laughs> psychic answer. communion, psychic call. Mm. Right, we'll see what I can do in my turn. I don't think it's going to be a lot. But before we do my turn, here we go. The thunder. The thunder. There's nothing. <laughs> Damn it. Right, let's see what I can do here. Right. So we've looked at it, basically I've got a kind of hurdle across the battlefield and then in fifth turn, he can just bugger off that way and I can't even get towards him. I've broken them out of combat, but I don't really want the Gene Steelers to die because they are doing quite well experience wise. So we're going to call it there. Yay! Go Team Orcs! Go again. Team Orcs again! <laughs> that, was, that was quite good. I like all the tanks. I like leaving all the wreckage on the battlefield. You can kind of have a look and see what's happened. That was quite interesting, quite cool. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have more battle reports coming soon as well. Just need to get them recorded. This took ages today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go off and we're going to update our rosters. Keep an eye out on that on the website, rootstand.co.uk. You actually have to become a member to get access to the sheets regarding the characters and such that we're using in the campaign. But it doesn't cost anything. It's just your email and that's it. Right. See you next time.